This is the working model of our lungs, of our respiratory system. Attend in detail, you too can make a light model of your own. I have taken a plastic bottle, a plastic bottle, we have removed the lid, in the place of the lid we have a membrane, I have taken it from a balloon, expanded a balloon and got it fixed and here you find a plastic pipe, a Y shaped plastic pipe, you can get it made on your own, take any plastic pipe of narrow dimension can be a little smaller than this even in diameter need not be wider than this cut it cut it sideways like this make another two small pieces of the same pipe and get them melted and fixed it should be in the Y form see from the nose we have the lead here, the trachea and it gets divided into the two lungs one on the left, one on the right so we get that Y shaped plastic pipe tie two balloons to either ends now maybe the question that arises in your mind is to how get this welded into Y shape cut the pipe and fix it with the help of a candle, burning candle. Melt the wax a bit and bring it. Once the plastic is melted, if you bring them together, immediately it gets stuck. With a little bit of practice, you will be able to do. But I would suggest children not to do it in the absence of your parents. Take their help. Once this is ready with the balloons, the two balloons act as our lungs. Fix it here. Make a small hole, take a, an iron wire, heat it, place it there, you get a hole, widen it as much as you need, fix the pipe from inside and with a little of bee wax you can fix it or you can use MC leaven, fix it well, it should be airtight. Now you stretch a rubber membrane and get it fixed to its mouth. You can make it with the cigar box or you can make use of uh, any discarded plastic bottle in your house and the gadget is ready. Now for its functioning. Hold the membrane here and you see what happens. I pull it down, push it up. As I pull the membrane down, this membrane down, the lungs expand. As I push it up, the lungs expel all the air they have and shrink in size. Again, I pull it down, the lungs widen, they expand. This is exactly what happens in our body. In the place of this membrane, you have a muscle here in between the chest and the abdomen portion. Chest is that cage which has the heart and the two lungs safe inside. And next to the diaphragm below you have the abdomen where you have the stomach, the intestines, the liver, the pancreas, all those. The diaphragm is in between. It separates the chest from the abdomen. And because of the action of the diaphragm up and down, all the time, round the clock, 24 by 7, you see the lungs expanding, taking in the air through the nose, it moves in, and then as the membrane comes up, air is expelled out. Actually what happens? As I push it up, the space inside this bottle, there whatever air is there, it gets compressed. That pressure gets exerted on the lungs. 
the two balloons and whatever air is contained gets expelled out. When I pull it down, the space has expanded down. There is no space inside. The air pressure drops. As a result, atmospheric air enters in through the nose, goes into the gullet and from the epiglottis it moves in ultimately through the trachea it gets into the lungs. To understand the functioning of the lungs, it is a beautiful experiment. In case the diaphragm gets punctured here in an accident or so, then the lungs will not be able to function and instantaneous result will be death. Thank you.